In this tutorial, we will show how to quilt a pantograph style pattern and how to use the nest feature. To stitch a pantograph style pattern, you can either add patterns to the quilt area or add patterns to a pattern box. In this demonstration, we will create a new pattern box for our pantograph style pattern. Go to Home, Pattern Box, Add Pattern Box. Move the machine to the bottom left corner of the pattern box. Press the green Add button to add corners to the pattern box. Press the green check mark to add the last corner. We've already stitched a rectangle that is as wide as the new pattern box, but only half as tall. Now let's add a pattern to our pattern box. Many pattern designers offer patterns that are specifically meant to be repeated. Take for example this charms pattern. Let's repeat it across and down. First, notice how the pattern has a green box around it. After the pattern is repeated, each instance of the pattern will show this green box. We'll repeat three across and two down. Also, adjust the spacing down to be negative 0.8 and press OK. Let's scale this and then take a closer look at what we've done. You can see that there are now six charms patterns. Because we set the negative spacing, we were able to tuck the peaks of the pattern into the empty areas created when we repeated across. The bottom patterns overlap with the top patterns due to the negative spacing down we set earlier. Also, notice that there are only two start and stop points for the patterns, even though we have six of our original pattern. You can see that the pattern was specifically designed to be repeated. This pattern and others designed like it are included in your Butler Library of Patterns. We can now stitch the pattern. Press the needle and thread button to activate stitching, then press the green go button. The machine will move to the beginning of the pattern. Pull up the bobbin thread when prompted, then press OK. The machine will perform a tie-off stitch and then begin stitching. At the end of the row, you will be prompted to cut the thread and then press OK. The machine will move to the beginning of the next row and repeat this process of pulling up the bobbin thread. Using the nest feature, we will show how to stitch two more rows under the rows we just stitched. Go to the tablet and pencil, and then select nest. The display will prompt you to move the machine to the lower left corner of the pattern you just finished quilting. In this case, the lower left corner of the two rows we just stitched. Once there, press OK. Mark the spot, and then press OK again. Move the machine to the lower right corner of the area you just quilted, and then press OK. Mark this area, and then press OK again. You will then be prompted to roll the quilt. 
This is to ensure that there is enough space available to quilt out the nested pattern. Roll the quilt, then press OK. Move the machine to the first mark you made, then press OK. Move the machine to the second mark you made, then press OK. On the next screen, move the machine to move the crosshairs to select the highest point on the pattern, then press the green check mark. Once this is set, you should see the top two rows you already stitched and the bottom two rows you are about to stitch. Wherever you move the machine should be where the highest most point you selected earlier will appear when stitched. Press the green check mark, then stitch the pattern as normal.